Good morning, YouTube. How y'all doing today? Another review out there. 177 Plinkster here. And well, today we're going to be doing a review on this gun right there. Uh, you guys might have seen the preview for it. It's the Crossman 1377 or Crossman American Classic. Um, I have all three of my Crossman guns out here with me today. These are my three Crossmans. As you know, the Crossman Phantom. This was my first video ever. This is just, I don't know why they called it the Phantom, because it's actually the C11, but they did. My Crossman Phantom 22, and the Crossman 1377, aka American Classic. Okay, so I'm gonna run through the specs on it real quick, and then we'll get to shooting. Okay guys, last time you saw this gun, and it had still these scope mounts right here, but then it had this big, huge scope. Well, I took that scope off, put it on my hunting rifle, put on this red dot. Um, let me show you all this red dot, because it works actually quite nicely. Oh, you can kind of see it there. There it is, that little dot in the middle. That's the red dot. It's actually a lot better than it looks, and you can get, I can hit, about a two inch thing at about 20 yards with it so big enough to go squirrel hunting with um this is kind of just my chipmunk shooter so i take this up to my lake house and i get little squirrels out there and stuff because ammo's cheaper squirrels are smaller and yeah so this is bolt action as you can see multi-pump um Uh, it's got an 8 inch barrel I believe Hold on. yeah it's about an 8 inch barrel um, it does not come with this right here this was that was custom it comes with just two very nice synthetic handles right, I'll show y'all them in a second um, it comes with these but these work really nice I'm gonna do two different groups today one with the buttstock, and the other just with the pistol. So, um, but I won't take this off. I'll just hold it out like a pistol instead of having it tucked in. But, um, scope mounts don't come with it either. I bought those. The trigger, I don't know the poundage on it, but it's, it's really nice. It doesn't creep. It's a metal trigger. It's really nice. Um, it's just a cross bolt safety, so you push it in for um, red and then that's fire and then you push it the other way for safe it comes with iron sights uh, a blade or circle different ranges but the front is just blade you can adjust the back for windage and elevation though when you get it out of the box you can shoot probably inch plates at like 10 yards with it which is really all this gun is capable of you're not going to go rabbit hunting with this thing it's not that good, but it's still a nice little compact gun for going out in the woods. And it's nice and compact because you got that. It's like a bolt up if you have it like that. If not, you have your hand gun ones. But so, I'm going to set you up downrange and let's get shooting.
Okay guys, so I, I only did it on cardboard, and you can see the five shots within about half half inch, those four, right, I'll sit you down there, that's four shots right there, and then there's that fifth one that I pulled on, but um, they all went through, in fact, two of them went through the same hole, and they bunched together, when they hit the um, piece of concrete that I had leaning up against behind it. But um, I'm gonna change it to the handgun and see if I can get the same decent groups. Okay guys, so I didn't even bother showing you the handgun results, like with the handgun grips on, because they were literally the same. Um, it was about an inch instead of a half inch, uh, but I was able to get all five shots in. It wasn't that great. Um, but this is not a very good starter gun. I would not do it because it is multi-pump. Um, I would go with like a little daisy or like, yeah, like something with like the lever action spring, like a daisy. Um, those are good starter guns. I started with those. So, but if you're looking to just get some small pest around your house, this works fine. They also has a CO2 version. But once again, CO2 costs you money. This is just, you pump it up. Um, they say your minimum pump on here is five pumps, and then your max is 10. Uh, if you go higher than 10, then you can blow a seal in the um, compressor right here. Um, your upgrades are gonna cost you about 45 bucks if you want the stock and scope mounts or like optic mounts. This is about 20 25 dollars and these were about 15 20 I got it all at Walmart um, so yeah get you one of these guns um, good guns reliable I haven't cleaned mine ever there's no rust on it there's nothing um, okay guys well this is 177 Plinkster and be safe and keep on plinking.